Okay, so in this episode, we are going to be plotting some PV isotherms of water. And what I have here, that's not, what I have here, so this is, I think, the uh, Git clone that we used last time, which just grabs a bunch of uh, material data from a GitHub site. And all of this stuff here is to import that in and numpy is numpy optimized we're going to be using root and then plotly we're going to be using subplots we've done all that before but this quad thing this is new this will be something we use in a later video i just had that here so i won't forget it later but this is also going to be something new is i'm deciding to finally change my plotly to plotly dark so it looks better and so the first variable that I have here is P is equal to chem props of water. So this is just, we're importing the properties of water. Get there. And then I'm going to define some basic stuff that we're gonna need. So we're gonna need the critical temperature. So that's equal to P dot TC and the critical pressure P P is equal to P dot PC and then R is equal to 8.314 kilojoules per, no not kilojoules, joules per mole. I might have cut this recording but uh, this W is actually stands for its omega. That's a property that we'll use in this equation. So first we're going to define a cubic function i'm just going to call it nope a b epsilon sigma and this is with respect to t because this is all temperature dependent nope. so first order of business a is equal to and then b equals Epsilon equals no, no, no. And then sigma is equal to. And then we want this first function to return a, b, epsilon, mm. a, b, epsilon, and sigma values. So first, um, epsilon and sigma are easy because uh, we're using the SRK equation of state. And I have here on my board all the list of properties of SRK. And um, it says here that sigma is equal to 1 in the SRK and E is equal to 0. So that makes this a little bit easier. And there's another thing. B is equal to this value omega. Not the little omega, but a big omega. Times R times the critical temperature divided by the critical pressure. And so for this, we're gonna wanna define omega. And omega, also according to the SRK equation of state, is another constant. Omega is equal to 0 0.086 and I'm just gonna put in one for this now. So see, that so far works. Well, I should probably put omega in front of this because it likes that better. And A is equal to this function called, I have it written here, it is alpha uh, of the reduced temperature of omega times r squared times t squared or actually no it's the critical temperature squared so and then divided by the critical pressure 
So there we have that. And what we're going to want now is alpha. So alpha is another sequence of constant, uh, constants here. It is psi times this alpha function is psi times alpha times that. So that's where psi is. And psi is a constant in and of itself, which is 0. Point, nope, that's not what I wanted. Psi is equal to 0. 0.42748. And alpha is equal to a big long function that is 1 times, or 1 plus. 0 0.48 plus 1.574 times omega squared minus 0 0.176 times omega squared. And actually, this is not omega squared. This is just omega times omega. So there's that. And this is all times 1 minus the reduced temperature to the half. And this is all in parentheses again because all of this is squared. And so we have another definition, and that is reduced temperature, TR, is equal to the current temperature divided by the critical temperature. And that's just uh, to show like, how far away you are from the critical temperature. So if TR is equal to 1, that means you are at the critical temperature. And so we're going to go ahead and run this. Okay, and so then we're going to want to define a function for the pressure. In order to plot a pressure volume uh, plot, we need pressure and volume. So define cubic pressure with respect to the volume and temperature. And then, nope, I need a colon. And then that's going to be the cubic Abe's function. So A, B, epsilon, and sigma are equal to cubic abes of t and then we want this function to return r times t over v minus b minus a over v plus Epsilon V plus Sigma B. No, V plus, yeah, V plus Sigma B. Oh, no. Sigma times B. And then, no. Epsilon times B, Sigma times B. Uh, I don't know Greek. So run that again. Yeah. I forgot I needed operators. And I'm just going to put parentheses here just to be safe. And then now we're going to want to plot this, but first we're going to want to make sure B is equal to omega times r times tc times, no, divided by critical pressure. No, it doesn't like omega, so let's just use the 0 0.086664. Uh, And then volume is going to be equal to a logarithmic space. So numpy dot lin space, no, a log space e dot log 10 of 1.01. .01 times b uh, 
from negative 2 to about 500. Let's see if that makes that. Okay, it does. And then figure is equal to make subplots. And then I'm going to leave some space. And then we're going to want to add the scatter. So figure dot add scatter x equals specific volume y equals pressure mode equals lines and name it and actually what we're going to want to do is make a for loop so for k in range from about Let's see, 273.15, and let's say about 600 more, so 873.15, and we want, let's see, let's just say 30 isotherms, and then this is going to be pressure is equal to cubic pressure function of V and T and then we're going to make this shift this over and we're gonna run it and we've already run into a problem because I don't think it likes the K function so let's see oh I can't just use arbitrary K I have to use the Pinnet variable. Mm, still does not like it. Do you want the x axis to be log? Float cannot be interpreted as an integer. Oh, wait. Okay, so I guess just not. Oh, that's right. You can't use integers, so just 273. Okay. That makes more. Whoa. Let's not have 30 billion. 150 e to the sixth, no, negative 150 e to the sixth. To 150 million. Returning a boolean. Do you want a range? Okay, that's progress. So, why aren't you you're supposed to dip all the way down? Let's check the cubic function, because that might be it. Let me put a bunch of parentheses that I might not necessarily need. So the parentheses check out, but Might have done the math wrong. We can try less of this. Less parentheses is not always better to me, but sometimes for these programs it likes less parentheses. No. Is it every 30? Does it not want every 30? Let's just make it every 20. I guess it's not what I thought it was. Oh, it's... No, 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 no. It doesn't do anything. Is it just not low enough? There we go. Okay, so it just wasn't low enough temperatures. I see. No, but it should be that low at not 150k. It should be that low at 275, so I've still done something wrong. Still done something wrong. Okay, so I returned to this. I found some code that worked, so it's 
I checked all this. It's this is definitely all correct. This stuff here. It's something to do with this. This I also believe is correct. So then it, that leads me to believe it's something that is in here that is incorrect. So now I am going to try to find that. And let's start by removing some parentheses and seeing what that does. So let's see. Still not that. So it might be something with this order. But I know this is square. I know this is correct right here. This is the reduced temperature. This is all the critical temperature, critical pressure. This is supposed to be squared. Is this here? Yes this here to make this tr is t divided by tc is equal to 1 plus 0 0.48 hmm. let's try Removing a set of parentheses here in case that's what this is. That way, this is this. Yes. 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 Was that one set of parentheses really what it was? What? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, that is how you plot uh, PV isotherms of water. So I, that one set of parentheses really screwed me over. So that goes to show coding is very precise.